Let us get back to canvas. This time I'm going to show you how you can use the mouse position and have it displayed. It's an important feature when you want to create canvas games. Then I start with our canvas ID my canvas. We'll get the element by ID, store it in the constant canvas, create our CTX 2D. You already know that. Now we'll have to add an event listener. I will directly add the function here. What we basically want to do is to find x and y position and then store it somewhere. Let me call that const x and later on const y. So what we need here as parameters for our event listener are the mouse move and then our event. Let me check the parenthesis here. This one I can delete it belongs right here when our event listener closes. So this is the closing bracket for the opening one here and here are the curly brackets. Let's continue with our const x. We'll simply use client x and then the limits of our canvas. We can do so by using get bounding client rect and for x we need the left. Cross x goes from left to right so left should be the zero position and right should be in our case the width of 400. We need almost the same for y, but obviously we need the client y and in this case we need the top position for our rectangle. As y goes from top to bottom, so top is 0 and bottom would be height 400. Now we've found these positions and we've stored them in our x and y variables. Now we need to find a way to display them. At first I'll just use a simple font, 16 pixels Arial. And then we need the fill text for X and Y. Use these back ticks. We'll go over X first. We need our variable, which was a lower cap x right here. And we'll use two fixed. And the position 10, 20 should be fine. And for y, we simply need to change these two values and we need to lower the y position. So let me make it 40. We've got pixels 16, so 40 is fine. You can see it's being displayed. But we have a problem here. I make it slowly and you can see whenever I move the mouse, the new value is being drawn on top of the old one. We don't want that, so we need to find a way to clear the last display or the last values. And we can simply do that by using cdx.clearRect. We'll use 0, zero positions and canvas width and canvas height. And now this is cleared and the new one is not 
overriding the old one anymore, instead it replaces it. Not perfect values, you can see it goes even further when it comes to width and height. So it accepts a little bit more than the 400, we have a border, keep that in mind. Therefore 402 is actually the end here. But on left and right you can see it's zero for x to the left and y to top. And this is how you can get and display your mouse position using HTML canvas. Hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.